It's a survival story we've waited four years to hear, and you'll see it only on Nine. Butler Warren reporter Deb Silverman shows us how a lesson meant for local high school students saved the teacher's life instead. This is Bunny Brooks, a college life skills teacher at Lebanon High School. This is Chuck Duray, a Lebanon police sergeant. Duray has visited Brooks' classroom for the last 13 years to present college-bound students with two-day seminars on personal safety. Basically, it's designed to prepare students for college life. We put on red man suits when we learn escape techniques and things that we can do to prevent becoming a victim. Twice a year, seven times a day, um, I never thought in my wildest dreams that um, I was doing something that would affect my life so profoundly. It was on June 29, 2007 that Brooks had to use the skills meant for her students. Adam Carpenter escaped from Warren County's low security correctional facility. He broke into Brooks' nearby home. She and her sister came home to find the house ransacked. The escapee had found a gun and tied the two women up. Officer Ray just popped in my head, my classroom popped in my head, and um, I could just see the list of the things he had on the wall of things to do. He said to become a person, don't be a victim. Crazy as it may have sound, um, we asked him questions. We asked who he was. We asked about his family, told him about our families. The sisters offered Carpenter food and even a drink. He took it and eventually he took off with Brooks' car, leaving the women unharmed. I'm honored uh, that something that I brought to the classroom that she was actually able to use. This is the part of the story that might look familiar to you. Carpenter sped down I-71 in Brooks' SUV. Cruiser video shows he hit several cars before surrendering. Brooks didn't want to tell her story publicly until she could properly thank DeRay for saving her life. That time has come. Earlier this month, they went to Arizona, where DeRay was presented with the National School Safety Award. He was nominated by Brooks. Out of dozens of nominees from around the country, DeRay was one of only four who won. I'm very flattered, but I feel like, gosh, I'm not the one that deserves the attention. My family is indebted to Officer DeRay for a very, very long time. Deb Silverman, Nine News. That was Deb Silverman reporting. Nice story. And uh, our weather week is off to a great start. Chief Meteorologist Steve.